Welcome to the exciting world of engineering graphics and drawing. In this presentation, you will understand basic concepts, tools, and techniques used in engineering drawing. Engineering drawing is a technique of creating graphical representation that contains all necessary information such as dimensions, specifications, and notes, using which an abstract concept can be transformed into a real-world entity. Applications of engineering drawing are varied, for example, shipping industry, manufacturing, construction, and many more. Alright, so before we actually start drawing something, let's warm up with some important concepts. So first, let's take theory of projections. The word projection means to throw forward. It is a process of plotting an object or entity on imaginary planes. Projection has two types. First is parallel projection and second is perspective projection. Each of these in turn has further subtypes. We will focus on orthographic projections where the projectors are parallel to each other and they intersect the projection plane at right angles. We will study orthographic projection in detail later. So let's take a look at important tools used in engineering drawing. Drawing paper, drawing board, drafter, T-square, compass, divider, French curves, protractor, set squares, scales, pencils, erasers. Before you start drawing, always make sure that the size of drawing paper is less than the size of the drawing board. Also make sure that paper is fixed properly with drawing pins and it is smooth without any wrinkles or folding marks. The drawing board is a plain and smooth surface used for drawing purpose. The ebonite edge of the drawing board facilitates smooth movement of T-square. The T-square, as the name suggests, is a T-shaped drawing tool. Its straight edge slides along the width of the drawing board with the help of a stop. It is useful in drawing straight lines and also serves as supporting edge for set squares while drawing inclined lines. As you already know, the compass is used for drawing circles and arcs. The divider is a little different with both legs made of steel and is used for transferring distances. Another interesting tool is French curves. They are used to draw irregular curves such as ellipses, parabolas, hyperbolas and the like. The drafter is a very useful tool for drawing parallel lines at any given inclination. It has scale as well as protractor inbuilt. Looks like a robot, isn't it? Protractor is used to measure and lay out angles. Another tool is set squares, also known as triangles. They come in flavors of 30, 60, 90 degrees and 45, 45, 90 degrees. All right, so we are all set to now begin understanding basic concepts of drawing which we will cover in the next presentation.